I went to the con, so we, okay. we, we have to talk about this Comic Con experience. For those who don't know, 165,000 crazy fans, and you guys premiered your film there. Yeah. So what up? Like, how was that experience like? It was great. You know, it can be a tricky situation, I suppose, because uh, you premiere the film, and screen it, we screened it three nights, and if uh, if, if they don't like it, it, it doesn't bode well. But thankfully, they, you know, were amazing. Uh, it was an amazing response all three nights, you know, hooping and hollering and clapping throughout the whole entire movie, so much so that I think a lot of jokes were missed, uh, which is just a, a great thing, really. <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic. I mean, I think that this is a project that's been in the works for quite a while, and I mean, think back to when the first comic book was published it has been building a fan base for years at this point and so to finally get there and have the whole Scott Pilgrim, Scott Pilgrim experience which was like a, a theme park for the movie and then be able to finally share the movie with the fans was just a really amazing experience they knew all the nuances like any anything that you did that was like true to the comic book they would like hoot and holler so yeah. anything that happened during the film when you watched it like with the audience that you're like oh they, they picked up on this or you kind of excited well, the, you know the the fur in the Patel scene it breaks into um, it breaks into Brian's actual panels for a little while and you know there's so much going on in the film it's action this sort of romantic comedy there's a band playing then there's an action scene and then literally right after that in the middle of that we break into the comics and I had been worried that my goodness maybe this will be too much you know the audience just flipped as soon as they saw Brian's drawings and it's really simply animated it's pretty pretty simple especially for the kind of stuff that Edgar does they just loved it so that was a great moment it's pretty awesome to watch Michael go against the uh, Superman. I mean, it's just kind of funny to like kind of see. So to, to uh, you know, fight in those sequences to kind of work with him on it, to, you know, because he's, he's, a, he's a tall, skinny bloke, and then you are not. So, so to kind of work with him was what interesting. What are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> You're, <laughs> You're short and fat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? You're short and fat. Uh, it was, uh, uh, Michael's a great guy. He's a very talented actor, very funny. Uh, and uh, so it was, you know, awesome to work with him, um, frankly. Uh, you know, I don't really fight him hand-to-hand, uh, -hand, so it wasn't as strange uh, as it could be uh, or as, as comic as it could be, I guess, because we're dueling off, we're standing, uh, you know, our standoff is uh, behind bass guitars, and we're like two gunslingers, except two bass slingers, I guess. Um, so it was... But it was fun to lock eyes, you know, and just you know challenge him with base skills. Um, but he's actually in 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 real life, he's a much better bass player than I am. So uh, I kind of use that to f that in being jealous of him playing bass better than I <laughs> to uh, to fuel my. My, my playing against him. One of the nice things about this film is when I saw this, the cast list, I was really excited about all the people that are involved because you, you guys are actors that I'm kind of curious about and everybody was like kind of seemingly on, you know, so, so to work with all these, your peers who are all seeming to have these really interesting careers and stuff, was it nice to kind of be a part of? Yeah. It was really fantastic. I mean, this is my first movie, so uh, um, I've done a lot of plays, and I've actually worked with Allison doing some theater and stuff, so I, I knew some of the people, but... Um, I think that this is a movie where a lot of people are really going outside of their comfort zone and doing things they haven't done before. And the fact that we were surrounded by such a close group of friends. I mean, there's no parents in this movie or teachers, so we're all like mid-twenties hanging around the set. Um, the fact that it was such a comfortable environment really allowed us to, uh, allowed us to go outside our comfort zones and make something happen. Okay. Yeah, um, uh, oh, it was, uh, now I forgot what we were asking answering a question. I had something important, exciting to say. You're talking about working with such an interesting cast, yeah. diverse group of people who are yeah. doing interesting work, different yeah. things. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, think, uh, I think that what's exciting, uh, thanks, uh, uh, is that I, I think everyone's going to get a really big pop from this movie. And it, it, I feel like it's going to be exciting to see in the next year or two what m movies come from everyone else in the cast because it is, I think it's a great launching pad for, for all of us, I, I trust. Oh,